Welcome to Eucanic. Today here in Eucanic we have a 2015 Ford Focus. In this Ford Focus we're going to show you how to replace your door lock actuator. So the electric components are not working where you try to unlock the door or lock the door. And that's what would go wrong here is in this door lock actuator unit that is down here. To replace that it's all one full unit. Door lock actuator and the interior portion of this door handle. Um, all full solid unit as well as this cable that is used for um, the, the handle for the inside to open it up. So to start with, there's a few little covers that we need to remove and then a handful of screws. We'll start with that first. There is a little cover here. There's this little cover that sits in here. You'll need to pop this cover off. And then this uh, reflector. It's not actually a light, it's just a little reflector. You just need to push it to the back. We have one T25 uh, here. T25 then. Then we need to pop this exterior uh, portion off and just be able to work our way with some care. We do want to reuse it. Well, and then when you pop it off, pull it out a little bit and pull it this way. There is generally a tab here. It has uh, broken. Anyway, so then um, we need to pop this up and then we're able to flip it over. These electric connectors, squeeze them, and you want to unclip, unhook them. And then we can set that aside. That gives us access to the two T25 uh, screws, bolts that are there. And we have one more up here in where our door handle opens. So we just need to pop that cover off. And then we have another T25 up here. And the last uh, set of screws are two um, seven millimeter screws that come right down here in the bottom. You also want to pop this little cover off up here at the top that has the speaker cover on it or in the, it's holding the speaker. Now we can just set that to the side there. Let it dangle over there. And so that's all done there. So let's go ahead and actually remove the screws. So one screw right here just below the speaker. One uh, screw is right here by the mid of the door. And then uh, 25. We have the one that's put behind the little reflector. And then a 225 that is in this uh, up here. Now we have a D25 that is located right inside here. As well as another one here. So two inside where the handle is. Here. So that's all the screws removed from the door panel. Now we just need to um, remove it. Now the uh, clips that hold this in are very strong to hold it in, so you're going to feel like you're going to break something. You just really need to have a pull on it. It's pretty good. So we did something behind there. And there's three on the bottom because that didn't have any here very strong. So we pull those off. The top ones are definitely not as strong on there. And now we have some stuff to unhook from the back, whether we unhook this clip or We have a couple of electric connectors. All right. And then we unhook this. You're just gonna pull on this right here, just very carefully, and then you're able to pull this handle piece back up. And so that is the separation of our door panel from the vehicle. We have removed the inner door panel. 
now we have access to where we need to take this um, plastic weather stripping stuff off and it's held on by this glue. Uh, we're going to just pull it off and do our best to keep it where it doesn't get, we want to keep it flat and so all the glue, we can still glue that piece back on unless you've got new glue to put it on. We also do need to remove the uh, speaker to be able to get the glass undone. To start with, let's pull this off. It depends on the year of the car, how sticky this glue happens to be. All right, so we got that off. We're gonna set it aside. And so now we'll remove that speaker because we need it removed because this window is just held on by little clips that we need to we need to push it back and then be able to pull the window up and so it's down in here so the speaker to be removed is two t25s i, I bought a 5.5 millimeter socket specifically for ford vehicles because they like to use out of there set that aside it's going to give us some access to get in there but uh, the back side here it's going to be a lot easier we just can push this tab in a little bit and pull the glass up okay so we got the back side free Okay. Just a matter of uh, being able to pry those clips open. It's not really easy to see in there right now. Now that we have those open um, and the glass can slide up, we can now remove it. And so you're just going to grab the glass, pull it up, once you get it up, then you're going to rotate it and then be able to slide the glass out and be able to set it aside. And these, you see this hole here? We've got a hole in both, on both sides. And that's what just a little plastic clip locks in there to hold it in. And so that's when we're pushing that back, we're prying it back and being careful about it so that we don't actually break the glass. Have your regulator and the motor attached so we remove that whole unit. If you decide you're just replacing just the motor because it's only the motor that's gone bad, or if you're replacing the, the regulator. Either way, you need to remove the whole thing. So, now we have um, some T30s that we need to loosen. We don't have to remove them completely. You just need to loosen them enough that they all slide up and through those holes there. So one here and one on this top one here. And now this will slide. We have this uh, clip here. You'll want to uh, push it back. And that's just to hold this in place and also so it doesn't interfere with the, uh, the window itself. This one we have is here, this part that holds uh, part of the window regulator motor. There, so we undid that one. And then one up here. And then one that's down under this um, little uh, Kind of styrofoam cover piece here. Right. And we also we just loosen that. We have access where it all moves. We reach up in here, we have one electric connector. Squeeze the tab. And be able to unplug it from the window regulator motor. And now, you just raise this on top and press towards the outside of the door. We have some uh, wire connection in here. Okay, need the back out of there. All right. Got all this uh, electric hanging out from there. And then once you get that in there, you'll be able to turn it up. 
work it out through the hole here. So we have the sweet spot, figured out how to get it out, and that would be your window regulator removed from the vehicle. To remove this uh, door lock cylinder, as well as your exterior door handle. And to do that, you pop this little um, cover off, you put a T20 um, bit in there, and you back out that screw until it stops, and then you will be able to pull out this um, door lock cylinder, and then this handle, toward the back of the vehicle and then you can pull it out like that. And then we need to undo this screw. We don't need to undo it completely. We just need enough so that it'll slide out. Then we undo the other stack of the hood. We'll take this piece of the weather stripping out. And now this will be on the slide. And then we undo some other stuff to get this out. So now on the uh, inside, this, on the door here, we have one uh, T20, um, uh, so T25, we have a T25 here that we need to uh, loosen and remove. And then we have the T30s of three here that hold this, um, the actual, uh, door lock actuator. Right. So with the door lock actuator um, removed there, we also have electric back here. And we quit. We pass and unhook. And then this clamp Got this T25 here. Okay. So now you just remove this here again, right out here, out the door, um, the hole there. Now, so that would be the removal of your door lock actuator interior door and, and this is all one piece in part together. Um, the actual actuator is this unit here and so you could undo these two screws if you're swapping this on there and uh, you don't buy that bracket there but it's pretty much comes out as all one, one piece here. Done. Um, if you were replacing it this is the way we install. So to start with we need to slide this all in here as one full unit. We're going to keep this out here because that's going to go there. And now, kind of cut it up here. We're going to look on the outside. Okay. So we got it all uh, lined up out there, um, just being able to, what we were doing is we were getting this to slide in here and hold in here. So this was the exterior portion, well the interior portion that holds your exterior door handle. So let's go ahead and tighten that T25 up, just so it doesn't fall out when we don't want it to. Okay. Now. Um, Back here from this side, the only thing we really got to need this to line up right here. And then we have that little screw up there, which that's your uh, channel, holds the channel for where the glass goes. And these are the T30s. Okay. Now we're going 
And these, well, they'll start, they, they taper, and so it will um, center it where it's supposed to be. And then the little uh, T25 up here. And so that's the install of our door lock actuator. It's installed there. Make sure you reconnect the electric. Get this uh, cable that goes for the uh, door handle up in the lock there. It's good there. Now, go ahead and put your exterior door handle on. You want to put this little piece of uh, weather stripping on. So, same thing with this little piece of weather stripping on the back side here. All lined up. Now, install this handle in. Then get it in where it's flush with the vehicle. Pull it forward. We've got the resistance, so we know that it's um, attached to the locking or the, the handle system that will open the door. And then we have our um, door lock cylinder to just slide in there. Then you need your T20. Screw it. T20 driver to drive right in the T20 driver to drive in this hole here. And then just tighten this up. And as you do, you'll see this actually pulls in a little bit. It's got a taper on it, so once it gets tight, it'll hold that in. All right, that's in there tight. It always seems like you're turning it a lot, but it's just in there tight, snug up, and now put your little cover back on. And so that's the install of your um, door lock actuator and the exterior door handle if that's what you needed to replace in the moment. We have our window regulator unit to be installed. Now it's going to be, when it's inside there, it's going to be in this uh, direction with those metal bracket tabs to the back and the white or the plastic up at the front. So just have to work it through the hole here. So, because these screws don't, they didn't, we don't take them completely out, now all we gotta do is just bring it up, the screw head in here, and then drop it down, and then we can tighten it. All right, so, on the, the front side, when you get it all completely lined up, we're gonna have all three of these, it will be lined up, and then we just drop it, press it down and that's in there we want to make sure that our electric is on this side of that window regulator so that it won't interfere with the window itself so then the, we got the back side here where we'll line up these two screws and then be able to um, drop it down and note that everything is in place where it needs to we have this little clip to lock in right there Keep that out of the way of the window. So now we'll we have all of the T30 bolts or screws to go around and tighten them up. Okay, so we've tightened those up now. You'll want to put this electric line back in there, connect it to the window regulator motor. 
All right, it's on there. We have this little clip here. Again, that's just holding your electric lines up and out of the way. With that clip, press it in, double lock it, and that is installed there. So that's our window regulator that has been installed. Now we are ready where we can just drop the glass in for the replacement of, of our window glass. Now this window glass is very easy. We just need to slide it down there, and then once it's slid in there, it just needs to slide down, line up in the tabs there, and it locks into place. So then you'll take your glass, be able to start it at an angle with the front side down. Gotta get it on the, between this weather stripping. And once you get it in, then we can uh, bring it to the uh, um, that it's in the channels to slide down. Then we make sure that we are lining up between those two plastic clips, the so one on both sides. Do a good uh, visual and feel that we're lining in there. And then we just press until it snaps and locks into place. So we've got the glass has been reinstalled. It is snapped and locked into place. And so that's good to go. Now, finishing up this portion of your window regulator and the window, we need to put our little uh, plastic um, cover on if you have it or if you would like to. It's kind of a weather, weather stripping, weather block. So I'm just kind of in our best around here. This is where the, the screws go through. We get those lined up. I mean, you just, and then be able to just work your way around, re-adhering this to where it was previously attached. So it looks like we were over here. Okay, so we got that piece in place. Now we just got to put our uh, the speaker back on. So electric plug up toward the top. Little tab log in right there. We have two T25 screws and one number 5.5 millimeter socket. Socket bolt. Connected and installed. Now, we get to this stage, and now we're ready to uh, put the inner door panel back on. We are ready to install our the inner door, and so so we have to bring it to the vehicle, and then we've got some electric to hook up. Okay, so up here we have uh, this electric connector. The gray one connects to. There's a gray connector that's attached to the door. Line that up. We have this one that connects to the uh, door lock button. And then these three wires are ones that connect to the, um, the switches and the handle. So those we just need to have fed up through the hole there because that's where they go. They don't, they don't connect it to anything yet. And then this we want to make sure that we reinstall by setting it in the, the groove there and then just push it in until it locks in. And then when it locks in, we'll be able to raise the door up into position here. Before it has here, it doesn't sit down in a weather stripping, so you don't need to like raise it from the top and bring it down. You just need to line it up. It's got two big um, tabs that line up. And now we can just work our way around. There are three um, very strong lock tabs on the bottom that we lock and push in, and then just work our way around, making sure that all of them are pushed in. Okay. That's our belly. And now we go around and put the uh, screws that hold this door panel on. Three T25s of 
that are the big, uh, large, flat head. And now we have uh, two T25s, one that goes right in here, where there's that little cover. And then one right here. And then just take this little reflector piece and be able to slide it in, lock it in place. We have this little cover plate that goes up up here. This one here, bottom side in first. And then just be able to lock that in tab there. And now be able to take your um, electric switches connect them and then we start the top side in plastic in there lock it in and then just press that down it's a matter of getting it to line up and snap there in place and then at the very bottom, we have two um, number seven bolts. That one goes right here, and one goes right here. Okay, we have those installed. Um, last thing is to completely finish it off, is to just be able to snap this in place here. Two clips on this side to press in and then this locks into the um, the door panel and that locks in. Thanks for watching Eucanic where you can be the mechanic.